My name is Scott Burns. I'm a geology professor at Portland State University. And in back of us here, we have what we call the Nyberg Wetlands. And many times people here in the Tualatin area drive by this, but don't understand the geological significance of this particular area. Let me step back just a step. And, and, and first of all, Tualatin and related to the great Missoula floods that came through here 15 to 18,000 years ago, at least 40 major floods, uh, inundated this particular area. And the Tualatin area is the crossroads where the water came in and the water went out of the Tualatin Valley. So the great floods came into the Portland area. And then a large amount of water came through Lake Oswego, carving out Lake Oswego. And then that water filled up the Tualatin Valley to 350, 400 feet elevation. Uh, and, and so there is a big fan of sediment right underneath the Bridgeport Mall that we have got, but then all the way out to Sherwood. And so the water went right through Tualatin to fill up the valley. Then the water had to eventually go back into the Willamette River and then out into the ocean. And so every time you drive by this, you are seeing this area here, this lowland area, a wetland today, but that is where all of the, uh, or at least uh, a third of the water from the whole Tualatin Valley went back into the Willamette Valley uh, River right after the floods. Now, just on the other side of I-5, you can see I-5 off in the distance, that is where the famous Mastodon skeleton was found by a Portland State student back in the 1960s. We are here at the, in back of the Twal and Fred Meyer. And this is a wet, wetland, and it's an extension of the Nyberg wetland that we talked about before, just on the other side of I-5. It was at this site, it was in the early 1960s, uh, that a Portland State student excavated the Mastodon. Uh, and, and this was farmed in the summertime, primarily just for hay, uh, and because it was wetland and wet most of the rest of the year, but they would dry out at the end of the summer and they would cut it for hay, but they kept on bouncing over these bones. And the Nyberg family uh, contacted Portland State University and said, we've got these big bones sticking out uh, of the ground. And so a couple of students from Portland State came out, excavated, and they were big bones. They were mastodon bones. And now you can visit uh, the whole half of the skeleton because half of the other skeleton had been plowed over in the field. Uh, and so half of it is still there and you can visit it at the Toilet Library. We're now here at the Toilet and Heritage Center in back of us. And this is going to be the place that many of the items from the Ice Age floods are going to be housed here. They're going to have uh, fossils of some of the uh, early prehistoric mammals that are here. And, and in back of me is one of the big items, and this is what we call an Ice Age rafted uh, erratic boulder. Now, most of the geology that we have around here in the Tualatin area, in the Portland area, is basalt. Basalt is a rock that is very fine-grained and black. And you look at this one up close, it is white with a whole bunch of little black specks in it. It's granite, and there's no granite around here. How did these big boulders of granite get here into this area? They were, we believe they were ice rafted in by the Great Missoula Floods. To find out more about the Ice Age floods and the effect on the uh, and their remnants here in the Tualatin area, just visit TualatinChamber.com.